The following is a presentation of Muddy River Sports. Welcome to another episode of Shuck on a Truck. I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman. Hanging out on the hill today. Yes, I'm on the Culver Stockton College campus. And we're breaking it down with the new Culver Stockton College men's basketball co coach, Dorian Hobbs Jr. DJ, as a lot of guys yes, like sir. to call you. Yes, sir. Thanks for hanging out on the truck. Man, definitely. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be on the truck. I know glad you got a lot going on. I yeah. mean, it's busy. You just got hired. You're trying to get settled here. Yeah. You're starting to wrap up things with the old job. You know, mm -hmm. all those things. Recruits yeah. on campus. Yes, sir. So I know time's precious. Yeah, um, I'm glad to be here. But it's time to get going, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely time to go. Time to go. What, how much does it mean to you to be an alum and to be back on this campus? Uh, it, it, means, it means the world. It means the world. This is, uh, I was telling everybody, this, this is a dream job for me. Uh, to, to, to come back to a place that, that meant so much to me as, as a student, uh, as an athlete, to come back here, it, 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 it seems surreal. It doesn't even seem real. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. So I'm so blessed to be uh, in this, yeah. th th this opportunity. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Not just a graduate. Yeah. Not just a former student athlete yep. here. Yep. Also a former assistant coach. Yes, sir. I mean, you've, yes, sir. you've worked your way up yeah. Yeah. through the process. Yeah. When the job opened, when Aaron resigned, yeah. did you think, I'm going for it immediately? 100%. 100%. 100%. I, yeah. I, I knew I was going for it right when I heard the news. Um, uh, uh, and and that, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a question. When you reached out to, to Athletic Director Pat Atwell, Obviously, you two have a relationship, yeah. know each other. Yeah. Was that an easy conversation then because of that? Yeah, I think so. I think it was easy. I mean, he was he was here when uh, my last year as a player. Right. I knew him there, and then obviously working with him for uh, for four years as well. So it was an easy conversation to have. Um, I think he, he had had me in mind for somebody who would thought would be good for the position. Yeah. I told him right away I'm, I'm interested right away. It had no discrepancies, no afterthoughts about it. So <laughs> the conversation yeah. flowed well, and uh, we talked for a while, and then um, and everything happened, and now I'm here. So. What had you ready for this? What, in your mind, what what made you go? I'm ready for that job. Um, the last two people I worked for were really great individuals. Um, obviously, Aaron Hill here at here at Culver Stockton, right. and then as well as uh, Kramer Soderberg over at Middleton University. Yep. Uh, uh, two great men, uh, wonderful basketball minds, but also great people outside of basketball. And just learning learning from them, uh, uh, being around them every day, and both of those have been first time head coaches as well. Right. Uh, now, now that I think about it, so kind of seeing what their process was over over everything, and just absorbing as much information as I can, basketball off the court, different things. And they actually helped me a lot. They put me in different situations that helped me. They put me in meetings that I wouldn't, wouldn't have been in had I just been a regular okay. assistant. Okay. So I was dealing with all different types of stuff. So just learning a lot from them, those last two guys, like I said, wonderful human beings off the court as well. So, Having moved on from here, having been the assistant coach here, to go to Milliken, mm -hmm. how important was that uh, process and, and, and for you and growing as a coach to go see how somebody else does things? Yeah, it, it was extremely important, extremely important. I mean, um, being here for so long, it, it literally just came right back as a student and then, and then a, a, an assistant coach. Right. Just to see how others, how, how it was done on other places. Yeah. And then obviously being at the Division three level, a little bit different as far as recruiting and scholarship right. running and stuff like that. So getting a chance to learn about other things besides Culver Stockton, and, and it, was, it, was, it was a good time. I, I enjoyed my time there. That stuff off the court, the recruiting, yeah. the, the culture building. Yeah, exactly. Uh, dealing with the community. Yeah. The community yeah. It's yeah. all different everywhere you go right and you you got to learn that you got to adapt to where you're at right but x's and o's is pretty much the same no yeah. matter where you're exactly. at exactly exactly and you, you know x's and o's you've been through yes, it yes sir how much will you help this how much do you do you foresee helping this team in the x's and o's aspect um of i think that's a um that's a big a big thing i mean we're gonna have to have guys who can who can score it obviously yeah. um i i want to be able to really defend first off i want to be able to sit, to sit down to guard people to hold people under a certain amount of points uh, that's that's number one but x's and o's wise i mean it's just for myself being a coach, putting the players in the right positions where they can score and then they can be successful. Obviously, I can't go out there and play for them. I can't shoot for them anymore right. and stuff like that. But I'm going to do the best job that I can of putting them in the position where they, where they can succeed, whether it's getting guys a bunch of shots on the three, getting to the hole, mid-range, whatever the case may be. My job is to put them in the right position. Um, and then we get... We gotta have guys that they can, they can yeah. finish it. Right. So, yeah. My guess is you can still hit a little. Though. I can. I can. I can get a bucket here and there. Definitely. <laughs> can Definitely. you still get the rim pretty good? I can. I okay. can. I don't ask me how my knees feel afterwards, but <laughs> <laughs> but I can get up there still. Does the experience of playing here 
help you in selling the universe. Oh, yeah. you're, on, you're on some of the best teams Culver's ever had. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think that helps tremendously because I've seen what it was. Mm -hmm. I've seen the work ethic we put in. I've seen what it what, what, it, what it takes to be that good and to see that at, at that level, at, at the pinnacle, I guess, yeah. of, of, of how great we were uh, back then. So I, I see what it, what it takes, and now I can apply that and help my players reset because I'm like, I've, I've been there. I've been to Kansas City. I've, I've seen yeah. what it takes to do that. Now I can just give you guys my knowledge of, of how we did it. This is yeah. how we did it, and now let's change, yeah. change a few things up and stuff like that. But I think mean, I mean, that helps tremendously. And I also think it helps to sell the program as well as right. far as recruiting. Yeah, I, I can say, hey, I've been there. I know what it's like. Now let's let's uh, 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 bring you along too. So. Yeah, you were on the teams that played in the national tournament. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and obviously, like we said, some of the best teams in program history. Yeah. Looking back, it seems like yesterday, but it also seems like a long time ago. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Do, do you think back on those days and, and, and just think about how much fun that was? It was, and I, I tell people that all the time, we had so much fun. Yeah. We were we were so close, that group of kids that we had together, we were so close, and that made it even better, but we had a lot of fun. Well, I remember we I wasn't I was unable to go. Um, when I was working in my previous job, and you helped me get guys on the phone to talk about the games <laughs> while yeah. you guys were were in yeah. Kansas City, yeah. and, and it yeah. was just, uh, and that's what Culver is. Yeah. Culver is helping each other, finding a way to make sure the student athlete experience is best for everybody. It's not just on you; it's Definitely. on the athletic director, it's Definitely. on the sports information director, it's on the trainers, it's on, but everybody's hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. Is that one of the reasons that drew you back? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, the amount of people that I met here is is, is absolutely crazy. Like. And, and, and I tell people all the time, like you don't really get over until you're here, yeah. and you meet the people that are here, you meet the people that have been here forever. And there's just just a difference, all kind of people that are always here. I'm going to a buddy's wedding here next month. We all came in as freshmen. We're all going to come back together, and it's like That's we, neat. We, we we remained that close That's since awesome. what 2011. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. The, so it's, uh, it's fun. The um, what is your style of coaching? When people people when they come to a game next year and they see your team take the floor. What is your style of coaching? Um, we're we're gonna defend. Okay. We're gonna defend first. Um, uh, we're gonna have a defend to win mentality, where we're gonna get stops. We're gonna get multiple stops in a row. Our goal is to get as, as X amount of what we call kills or turkeys or whatever. If you're, if you're a bowling guy, three stops in a row. Yeah. So we want to get as many three stops in a row as possible, and we want to be able to defend to win. That's that is number one. We have we have to guard people, especially in this league. There's high power scoring teams all over the conference. Right. We have to be able to uh, uh, to defend. With with that. We can run, we can push, but we can't do that unless, unless we get stops. Can't do that unless we get stops. So that, that's number one. And we're going to be a tough knit team. We're going to be tough. We're going to be really tough. We're going to be tough to guard. We're going to be really tough just in that aspect. We're going to play hard, get on the floor for loose ball, dive on the floor for everything. So we'll play hard. We'll obviously be able to score it. We'll, we'll be a, a, a good offense that will be able to share the ball. Uh, we're very unselfish basketball, I think. Uh, but we're, but we're, we're going to hang our hats on defending and being really tough and just outworking, out physicaling people. For sure. Offense comes from defense. Definitely. Definitely. So. If, if we can get as many of those little tip ins and just uh, uh, steals and lead transition buckets, we'll take it. The um, Is that how you like to play? That's Back how you played. Yeah, that's, that's how I was as a player. I think if you asked anybody who, who really knew me as, as, as my game, I think you would, they would say defender, tough kid. Uh, and, and did all the dirty work and stuff like that. So I think that'll come out as, as far as me coaching, and I think that'll rub off on my players for sure. You bring so, energy with that. Definitely. Right? definitely as, as a definitely. coach, I've seen you on the yeah. sidelines as, as an assistant, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you bring energy. Yeah, yeah. When you met with the guys after getting the job and you, you kind of laid out your vision for them mm -hmm. and, and showed them that defend a win yeah. and toughness and all yeah. those things, and then the energy aspect of it, did you feel energy back from them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's one thing that they they really were wanting um, uh, uh, in a coach, somebody that cared for them, someone that could bring that energy, that passion. I think that's what they really wanted, um, uh, and I can tell. Um, and, and they and they and they wanted it, and I'm, I'm here to give it to them. And you started immediately. Yes, sir. it was. There was no. Hey, I got the job. Okay, give me a week to relax <laughs> to adjust. No, no, I was making phone calls that that that, that night. So, <laughs> so talking to recruits, talking to people, and now I got to get in contact with, with some more alumni, some more boosters, and stuff like that. But it, it, it started instantaneously. How sure. much of a challenge is recruiting right now? Coming in as a as a first year head coach. Um. I don't know if I don't know if if, 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 if recruiting is, is a challenge. I would say because um, I've I've recruited here at Culver before, right. so I kind of know my, my 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 
way around the land and stuff like that. So I, I know what parts to hit, what parts to sell. And now that I am the head, the head guy, I can, I can sell myself uh, and then my style as well. I don't know if it's a challenge. Uh, the challenge is getting the right kids. Yeah. We have to get the right kids that are going to buy in, that are going to be cultured kids, uh, kids that we can retain, and then, and then kids that are obviously going to want to uh, uh, work, uh, 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 work out here, here at Culver. So. You haven't even gone that long from mm -hmm. Culver. Yep. Yep. Do you still have gear, or did you have to restock? <laughs> I I kept all of my gear that I had um, as as a player, okay. and then I kept some of the gear that I was uh, uh, that we had when I was here. So I had I had some to bring in. Um, I, ironically, my first day I came in with my freshman year hoodie from from our uh, our travel gear. I could still wear it, so I guess we wore clothes a lot bigger back then, but it still fit. So I'm like, this is fitting. I'm coming in as as, as a head coach. I'm putting on my, my freshman hoodie, and I still have it. It still, it still fits. So, but your, guy, your guys will want some fresh gear, so oh, yeah. you'll, get, you'll get some fresh gear, <laughs> yeah. too. We'll, 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 we'll hook them up. We'll hook them up for sure. Well, awesome, for man. Sure. Well, I know you got lots going on there. I know you got recruits on campus today. Yes, sir. So I really appreciate taking time to do this. No problem. Look forward to, to when you're actually on campus full-time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and definitely. catching up a little more. And, yeah. You know what? Next uh, next winter is going to be here before we know it. Yes, sir. It's, it's going to be here quickly, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Good. Well, I think a lot of people are excited. Congrats on the job. Thank you. You've earned it. Yes, sir. And it's uh, great to have you back. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be back. I appreciate it. Awesome. New Culver Stockton head men ba men's basketball coach, Dorian Hobbs Jr. I'm Matt Shuckman. This has been another episode of Shuck on a Truck. Catch us again next time. Muddy River Sports. Our home. Our sports.